Hello, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing an out for paper maze. And this month I'm working with the Simple Vintage Rustic Christmas Collection by Simple Stories. It's another beautiful collection from Simple Stories. I think they've had a really good year this year. Every collection they've released has just been stunning and I've loved them all. And I think I've worked with quite a few for paper maze this year um, and really, really loving this one so far. So I'm scrapping a couple of photos from uh, last December. I haven't really got many photos yet for this year, um, but last year I set up a little home photo shoot for my little boy. Um, I'm far from a professional photographer, but we've got a few props um, and he absolutely loves it. So I'm scrapping a couple of photos from that. And I'm using one of the pattern papers here. I've cut it out um, in a star shape. It is the B side of the three by four elements shape. And it's this lovely kind of olive, maybe sage green color, really pretty and quite kind of subtle. Um, so what I've done is I've cut that out as a star. I've also taken the red cardstock from the Matchmaker pack and cut a, a star outline from that. Uh, the same size as my background star. Now I've just layered the two to kind of make it look like a cut file. And I'm gonna have that positioned on my background, um, kind of offset so that a couple of the points are hanging off the page and I will trim them down so you can kind of see here what I mean. And I flirted with the idea of white cardstock, but I really didn't think it looked right. I don't think it did the colors in the collection justice. So I got rid of the white, uh, which is unusual for me, and I've reached for one of the uh, basil cardstocks from the Matchmaker pack. It's called Fig Swirl, and it's it's really pretty. I love it. It's kind of like an off grey kind of colour, um, and I used it last year with Simple Stories Jingle All the Way, um, and it's really really pretty. So I've gone with that, and I'm going to have that large star sitting on it, kind of slightly over to the right with the edges. Um, hanging off like I said and then I'm going to have my two photos um, kind of positioned down in the right hand corner. So I'm just backing them with some white cardstock um, I always like to have a white border on my photos. I print them at home and I print three by four so I get two on a sheet um, but it does mean that there's no border on them so I always add a white border to them. I feel like it just helps to give a little bit of separation from the layout and just helps my photos to pop a little bit. And now I'm just working out my embellishments. Um, other than having that star in the background for this layer, I didn't really have much of a plan when I sat down. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a play. The pack I'm going through here is the, um, I think it's the Woodland Creatures, I think it's called, bear with me. Let's have a look, I've got my iPad up at the same time. Woodland Bits and Pieces, there we go. Um, so I've pulled out a couple of trees from that, um, a few poinsettias, I've got some red ones and a large white one. And I've just for the moment layered them either side of my photos to create a couple of clusters. And I've pulled out a couple of the foam sticker trees as well. I don't end up using both of them, but I've pulled them out. I've put some talcum powder on the back of them to get rid of the sticky so I can now move them about my page um, without them sticking down and I can sort of flirt and play in different areas and things. Um, and then once I'm happy with where I'm gonna place them, I can just add some glue behind those. Just backing my photos with one of the pattern papers from the collection just felt like it needed a little bit of colour. Um, so that is the B side of the Peace on Earth paper. Uh, it's a really lovely paper. You've got that pattern on the back and the front has got a lovely kind of um, diagonal poinsettia design. Um, I think I've got a couple of sheets of that one so I might do something. You can see the poinsettias there. Um, really, really pretty they are. So, um, Like I said, there's just some gorgeous papers in this collection. It's a really, really stunning collection. So I'm happy with kind of how things are looking for now. I'm going to get the star stuck into place. Um, the worst thing is building a layout and having everything in place and loving it and then realise nothing is stuck down and you move it all to start sticking and you can never get it in the same place again. Um, I've done that so many times. So I'm committing for now and getting that star stuck down so at least I can um, work on my clusters and my photos now. So 
So as always, I've added some foam behind my photos. I love to have my photos raised up from the page uh, just to help sort of draw your eye to them and keep them as the focal point. So I always stick some foam behind those. And that's just cheap craft foam I buy online. Um, it's got a sticky peel back on one side and then I can just add some double-sided tape or wet glue to the other side. So I've used that, got my photos stuck in place uh, and now I'm just playing with these trees and my embellishments again, just trying to figure out where I want things to sit. Um, need to start thinking about my title as well before I run out of space. So I've got the sticker sheet there. I've also got the foam stickers, which I absolutely love. These foam stickers that you get with the vintage collections are just one of my favorite things. Just love the dimension of them and they always use really lovely font for all the words as well. Um, so they are one of my favourites. So I've pulled out the word Merry. I've added talcum powder to the back of that again in case I want to move it around. Um, I'm also pulling out um, a sticker from the combo sticker sheet. It says Merry Christmas, but I wanted to use that foam sticker Merry. So I've chopped the word Merry off of my sticker. And now I'm just trimming that down um, just neatly around the letters, leaving a border. Um, and I'm going to make my own kind of title, Merry Christmas, um, just by combining the two there. And again, I've stuck some talcum powder on the back of that so that I can move it about a bit and cut it without my scissors sticking to it. And I think I'm quite happy with having my title up there. I've got that lovely open space on the top of that star. Um, the title sits nicely there. It fits nicely and it the red kind of stands out against that green patterned paper. Um, so just moving it around slightly to see where I want it um, before I commit and get it stuck in place. So there we go, I've decided on my final placement and I'm just using some wet glue to get my title stuck in place there. I'm going to get these poinsettias stuck in place because I know I want those um, to be kind of like the back layer behind that cluster. So I'm just raising some of the edges up with some foam pads just for a bit more dimension. It kind of makes them look a bit more realistic as well rather than having them all sort of laying flat. And then I'm going to um, kind of layer those trees on top of that. So I've got the trees from the woodland bits and pieces, um, the poinsettias from the same pack, and then I'm going to have a uh, tree from the foam sticker, just that single one, um, that one there. Um, I'm just going to have that one over on the right hand side. And it's going to overlap my photo, which is raised up on foam, so I've just added some foam pads to the other half of that so that I can keep that nice and level. I've also added a couple of the circular heart foam stickers as well. I've done one up by the title and one down the bottom. Um, I think the red one at the bottom moves a couple of times. Um, but um, yeah, they're from the foam sticker sheet. I love those as well. Now I'm going through the bits and pieces pack in the collection. So you get the woodland bits and pieces and then you get uh, the bits and pieces pack. Um, I've pulled out a little kind of sprig of leaves there with um, a little round... Um, flare element and it says always lead home for the holidays so i'm going to have that above my photo um or my photos sorry i've pulled out a couple of the tags from that bits and pieces pack as well i've layered those kind of staggered um i've chopped the bottom off because they're going to be tucked behind my photo so you won't see the bottom um, and i'm going to bring out my new crocodile and just add a couple of eyelets to the top i've got some red ones that match this collection really well um, really close match to the red so that was handy it's the first time I've used this I've only just bought it um, so I was quite excited to get it out and have a play um, so I'm going to add those in and then I'll come in with some ribbon in a minute and thread that through as well So I've also added a few more bits from the bits and pieces pack. Over on the left there, I've got a uh, kind of like a star with some holly and a fir cone. Um, I've layered that behind my star just to extend the design out a little bit more. I've also got down the bottom um, in between my photos, another element there that's got a lantern and some fig leaves and not fig leaves, holly leaves um, and a fir cone. And it says joyful. And I love the way that sat in between the two photos. So I've popped that down the bottom there. 
I did have with my ribbon up the top there I cut it in half thinking it would look better being quite narrow um, but once I've done that I didn't like it so I'm gonna go for the full width of the ribbon um, and this is just ribbon I had in my stash but quite luckily the colors match a collection perfectly um, so I'm just gonna trim those down I actually had a couple of staples just to hold that in place um, I love staples on a layout um, especially on a boy layout this one isn't really that boyish um, but it just brings another texture to the page so um, I don't mind having staples on show I just raised the top of those tags up with foam as well um, and got those slotted in behind my photos So now I'm just kind of working my way around getting everything else stuck in place, raising a lot of things up on foam pads um, just to bring in that dimension and help level things out if they're overlapping my photos. Um, moving that heart again, just trimming that ribbon down so that I'm a bit happier with it. And I've got this little banner here that says home for Christmas. I thought that was very apt because like I said, these photos are from Christmas 2020. Um, the UK was still uh, in the middle of the pandemic. Well, we still are now, but um, it was quite rife. And I think my area was tier four at the time of Christmas. So we were pretty much locked down and not going anywhere. So home for Christmas worked quite well. So now I want to come in with my Nouveau Drops. Um, this is one of the crystal drops and it's the colour is Bottle Green. Um, it's a perfect match for this collection. It's a really lovely kind of metallic kind of olive green. Um, it works really well. It was quite clogged, this bottle, so I did have to pop it in a mug of uh, warm water just for five minutes just to warm it up. Um, and then popped a pin down the uh, nozzle a few times and um, that loosened it up and now it's working brand new again. Um, but I'm just gonna go all the way around the outside edge of my star, adding Nouveau drops. And I love doing this, I find it really therapeutic. Um, so I do this quite often and I like to add Nouveau borders on pages as well. Um, but just gonna go around the outside edge of that star And I love how that Nouveau border looks. I think it just finishes the page off really nicely. Um, I felt like it needed something. Um, and quite often when I feel like a page needs something and I don't know what, I'll either add a coloured frame to the whole page using a patterned paper, uh, which I didn't want to do in this case because my star kind of goes off the page. So I didn't think it would look right. Um, or the other thing I do is reach for my Nouveau drops um, and add a border somewhere. And I find that just finishes it off nicely. And then the final thing I'm going to do is just add some white splatters. Um, I love adding white splatters to pages. I find just that added little bit of detail I just love, um, especially for Christmas layouts. Obviously, it looks a bit like snow. Um, and I love the way it's fallen on those trees. It really does look like snow. Um, so that's just white gesso that I've watered down just with a little bit of water um, just to make it easier to kind of splatter with a paintbrush um, just on a bit of packaging. Um, and I prefer to use gesso to acrylic paint because I just find it sits on top of my embellishments and papers better. And that's me finished for this layout. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this process and I hope it's given you some inspiration for using this collection. It is available on the Paper Maze store already. I will pop a link in the description box below to the store and directly to that collection if you'd like to take a look. Um, it really is a beautiful collection. Um, I'm wishing I had more of it. I might even have to buy some more. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to making a few more layouts with this collection. So I'll leave those links in the description box for you. But thanks again for joining me. I'll leave you with the close-ups and I'll be back next time.